warm greetings from TNV Academy. Today in this session, we are going to discuss about artificial intelligence. But first, let me take you through the key takeaways of this session. At the end of this session, you will be able to understand what is artificial intelligence, types of artificial intelligence, why is AI important, advantages and disadvantages of AI, a strong AI versus Weak AI, examples of AI in today's world. So let's start our discussion and talk about what is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is a wide ranging brand of computer science concerned with building smart machines capable of performing tasks that typically required human intelligence. Artificial intelligence is the simulation of human intelligence processed by machines especially computer systems. Specific applications of AI include expert system, natural language processing, speech recognition and machine vision. AI requires a foundation of specialized hardware and software for writing and training machine learning algorithms. In general, AI systems work by ingesting large amounts of labeling training data, analyzing the data for correlations and patterns and using these patterns to make predictions about future states. AI programming focuses on three cognitive skills, learning, reasoning, and self-correction. Learning process. This aspect of AI programming focuses on acquiring data and creating rules for how to turn the data into actionable information. The rules, which are called algorithms, Provide computing devices with step-by-step -step instructions for how to complete a specific task. Reasoning processes. This aspect of AI programming focuses on choosing the right algorithm to reach a desired outcome. Self-correction processes. This aspect of AI programming is designed to continually fine-tune algorithms and ensure they provide the most accurate results possible. The ideal characteristics of artificial intelligence is its ability to rationalize and take actions that have the best chance of achieving a specific goal. A subset of artificial intelligence is machine learning ML, which refers to the concept that computer programs can automatically learn from and adapt to new data without being assisted by humans. Deep learning techniques enables this automatic learning through the absorption of huge amounts of structured data such as text, images or video. Let us now move forward and discuss about the various topics of artificial intelligence. AI can be divided into four categories based on the type and complexity of the task a system is able to perform. Reactive machines. A reactive machine follows the most basic of AI principles and as its name implies, is capable of only using its intelligence to perceive and react to the world in front of it. A reactive machine cannot store a memory and as a result cannot relay on past experiences to perform decision making in real time. Limited memory. Limited memory AI has the ability to store previous data and predictions when gathering information and winning potential decisions essentially looking into the past for clues on what may come next. Limited memory AI is created when a team continuously trains a model in how to analyze and utilize new data or an AI environment is built so models can be automatically trained and renewed. When utilizing limited memory AI in ML, six steps must be followed. Training data must be created. The ML model must be created. The model must be able to receive human or environmental feedback. That feedback must be stored as data. And these steps must be retreated as a cycle. Theory of mind. Theory of mind is just that, theoretical. We have not yet achieved the technological and scientific capabilities necessary to reach this next levels of AI. The concept is based on the physiological premise of understanding that other living things have thoughts and emotions. 
that affect the behavior of one's self. In terms of AI machines, this would mean that AI could comprehend how humans, animals and other machines feel and make decisions through self-reaction and determination and then will utilize that information to make decisions of their own. In this terms of machines, this would mean that AI could comprehend how humans, animals and other machines feel and make decisions through self-reflection and determination and then will utilize that information to make decisions of their own. Essentially, machines would have to be able to grasp and process the concept of mind, the fluctuations of emotions, decisions making and a litany of other physiological concepts in a real time, creating a two-way relationship between people and AI. Self-awareness One's theory of mind can be established something well into the future of AI. The final step will be for AI to become self-aware. This kind of AI possesses human level consciousness and understands its own existence in the world as well as the presence of emotional state of others. It would be able to understand what others may need based on not just what they communicate to them but how they communicate it. Self-awareness in AI relies both on human researchers understanding the premise of consciousness and then learning how to replicate that so it can be built into machines. Let us now discuss why AI is important. AI is important because it can give enterprises insights into their operations that they may not have been aware of previously and because in some cases AI can perform tasks better than humans. Particularly when it comes to repetitive detail oriented tasks like analyzing large numbers of legal documents to ensure relevant fields are filled in properly, AI tools often complete jobs quickly and with relatively few errors. This has helped fuel an explosion in efficiency and opened the door to entirely new businesses opportunities for some larger enterprises. Prior to the current wave of AI, it would have been hard to imagine using computer software to connect riders to taxis. But today, Uber has become one of the largest companies in the world by doing just that. It utilizes sophisticated machine learning algorithms to predict when people are likely to need rides in certain areas, which helps proactively get drivers on the road before they are needed. Today's largest and most successful enterprises have used AI to improve their operations and gain advantage on their competitors. We have now come to the point for discussing the advantages and disadvantages of AI. The various advantages of AI are good at detail oriented jobs, reduce time for data heavy tasks, delivers consistent result and AI powered virtual agents are always available. And besides to this, the disadvantages of AI are expensive technique, requires deep technical expertise, limited supply of qualified workers to build AI tools, only knows what it's been shown, lack of ability to generalize from one task to another. Let us now understand the difference between strong AI and weak AI. AI can be categorized as either weak or strong. Weak AI, also known as narrow AI, is an AI system that is designed and trained to complete a specific task. Industrial robots and virtual personal assistants, such as Apple Siri, use weak AI. Strong AI, also known as Artificial General Intelligence, AGI, describes programming that can replicate that cognitive abilities of the human brain. When presented with an unfamiliar task, a strong AI system can use fuzzy logic to apply knowledge from one domain to another and find a solution autonomously. In theory, a strong AI program should be able to pass both a turning test and the Chinese room test. And finally, let us now discuss the examples of AI in today's world. 
AI is incorporated into a variety of different types of technology. Here are six examples. Automation. When paired with AI technologies, automation tools can expand the volume and types of tasks performed. An example is robotic process automation RPA, a type of software that automates repetitive rules based data processing tasks traditionally done by humans. When combined with machine learning and emerging AI tools, RPA can automate bigger portions of enterprise jobs, enabling RPA's tactical bots to pass along intelligence from AI and respond to process changes. Machine learning. This is the science of getting a computer to act without programming. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning that, in a very simple terms, can be thought of as the automation of productive analytics. Machine vision. This technology gives a machine the ability to see. Machine vision captures the analyzer's visual information using a camera, analog to digital conversion and digital signal processing. It is often compared to human eyesight, but machine vision is not bound by biology and can be programmed to see through walls. For example, it is used in a range of applications from signature identification to medical image analysis. Computer vision, which is focused on machine-based image processing, is often conflated with machine vision. Natural language. Processing NLP. This is the processing of human language by a computer program. One of the older and best known examples of NLP is spam detection, which looks at the subject line and text of an email and decides if it's junk. Current approaches to NLP are based on machine learning. NLP tasks include text translation, sentiment analysis and speech recognition. Robotics. This field of engineering focuses on the design and manufacturing of robots. Robots are often used to perform tasks that are difficult for humans to perform or perform consistently. For example, Robots are used in assembly lines for cars production or by NASA to move larger objects in space. Researchers are also using machine learning to build robots that can interact in social settings. Self-driving cars. Autonomous vehicles use a combination of computer vision, image recognition and deep learning to build automated skills at piloting vehicle while staying in a given lane and avoiding unexpected obstructions such as pedestrians. So, we have now come to the conclusion of this session. If you have any questions regarding what we discussed today, then please share them in the comment section of the video and we will be really happy answering them. Till we meet next, it's best wishes from TNB Academy. Thank you.